Hi there, as you may know, I have been deeply involved in AI for over three years now. Previously, I launched a course on AI for photographers, which received an overwhelming amount of positive feedback. For the past few months, I have been working on a completely new course. Practical AI – Real-World Applications for Work and Life. This course has five parts, each focusing on a specific area where AI is making a real impact right now. You will understand how to choose AI models for your everyday tasks and learn to use them more efficiently. You will see how to create human-like text with AI and quickly process large amounts of data. Finally, you will discover how AI can automate your routine tasks, saving you hours of work. Of course, AI can do much more. From creating images and videos to generating realistic speech, but these areas are either not yet fully developed, such as uh, video creation, or are so complex that they require a separate course as with image generation. That's why in this course we will only cover practical techniques and approaches that actually work today. Cutting through the hype and avoiding the AI of the future promises you see everywhere. In this video you will discover three powerful AI techniques. First, you will see how to study foreign languages with Canvas in ChatGPT. Second, you will learn how to use AI to create interactive math games for your kids. Finally, you will see how to visualize data in ChatGPT and create custom dashboards for data analysis. Another amazingly useful feature is ChatGPT Canvas. It's like a notepad with built-in LLM that can interact with anything you write. Here is how it works. Let's activate the Canvas mode. And now I'm going to paste one of my articles here. Now you can edit any part of the text with ChatGPT. For example, here I'm going to ask, add a brief bullet point summary of what readers will learn from this article. And as you can see, it appears right in your text. Next, let's ask ChatGPT. Make this intro shorter and more understandable for a broader audience. Yeah, like this. We will cover more tricks for working with text in the next part of the course, but writing is just one of dozens of Canvas use cases. For example, here is how I use it to learn Estonian language. First, I'm going to ask. I am preparing for the Estonian B1 language test and I need to practice writing. Create a text in Canvas where I have to type the correct words. OK, ChatGPT has prepared a nice test. Let's fill in one of the sentences with an error. Now we can ask ChatGPT, is this correct? ChatGPT has spotted the mistake and offers the correct version. But the most impressive thing is that you can ask ChatGPT to clarify it. Explain my mistake in English. And it gave an excellent explanation of why I was wrong. Basically, it's your private language tutor available 24-7 for $20 per month. Claude has some fantastic features for learning as well. One of them is Artifacts, a tool that allows you not just generate a code, but instantly run it as a website. A few months ago, I was 
looking for a way to make math more fun for my son. He is in second grade and is a big fan of Harry Potter, so I decided to create an interactive text-based game in the world of Harry Potter that required solving mathematical equations to beat enemies and complete quests. Let's see how we can do this in Claude using artifacts. First, I'm going to switch to the extended thinking mode as this is a pretty complex task that requires a reasoning LLM. Now let's describe what we want to build. I want to create a text-based game for my son to practice math. The game should be played in artifacts. You will see what it is in a minute. Next, let's add some more details. My son is in second grade and he's a big fan of Harry Potter. The story in the game should look like one of the Harry Potter adventures with well-known characters. To defeat enemies, complete quests and advance in the game, he will need to solve mathematical equations. Finally, let's add some expectations from the game. The game should be fun and engaging, making my son both smile and think. At the beginning of the game, my son should be able to choose a character to play, one of the main characters from the book, and his house and these choices should affect the events of the game. The game should be about 20 minutes long, so he should be able to finish it in a single session. The code generation may take a while, so I will just fast forward to that moment. Ok, it's done, and as you can see, Claude has created a fully functional web version of this game. This is the artifacts feature we mentioned in the prompt. Let's play it. Ok, we can choose a character. Let's select Harry. Next, we have to choose a house. Oh, by the way, Claude even used the right colors for each house. Ok, you are Harry Potter, the boy who lived, today is your first day back at Hogwarts. Yeah, my son will enjoy such a story. Ok, Dumbledore sent us a mysterious note with a math puzzle. Let's solve it. Oh, we got a wizard card, nice. Now the next quest begins, and to understand the language of the magical creatures, we have to solve another equation, this time a bit more difficult. Let's see what happens if I give a wrong answer. Ok, the game is ready for this, and I can try again. Ok, the adventure continues, and the story gets even more interesting. The cool thing is that besides practicing math, such text-based games encourage kids to read more. But now you might be thinking, how can my son play this game? That's the most impressive feature of Claude Artifacts. You can simply publish this game online and access it on any device, including a phone or an iPad. Let's open the game link on my phone. Yep, and we can start the game again. Let's choose Ron and Ravenclaw this time. And that was a one-shot generation. You can easily ask Claude to rebuild some aspect of the game, make the math equations more challenging, or give the player more story options. And you can create games like this in any setting for any task and completely transform the educational process. Here I have some anonymized sales data, and we can safely upload it to Claude or ChatGPT. Both can work with CSV and Excel files. I personally prefer Claude because its approach to working with spreadsheets seems better to me, but ChatGPT is also capable of advanced data analysis. Ok, let's ask Claude. 
analyze this file and find some unobvious correlations and offer several ways I can use them to increase sales. As you can see, Claude doesn't process this file with LLM computations. It creates a code and runs it to analyze the file. This gives much more accurate results without the hallucinations typical for LLMs. So Claude offered some pretty reasonable analysis and recommendations, payment method patterns, actionable strategies, price tier optimizations. But that's just the beginning of what we can do with this data. I believe that to truly understand your data, you need to visualize it, and LLMs are amazing at that. Let's ask Claude. Use artifacts to create an interactive dashboard that contains all the data from the file in the form of various charts and graphs that we can easily customize and manipulate. Claude is now generating code to create a very personalized website with our data. This process can take a while because Claude is creating a quite complex product, something that would cost thousands of dollars just a few years ago. Okay, let's see what we have got. Here are all the settings for our dashboard, so we can decide what data we want to visualize. And next we have all kinds of charts and graphs to analyze our data. Amazing. Best of all, it's really interactive. Let's set the time period to the first quarter, product category to electronics, and for example, I want to see sales in North America only. As you can see, all the charts update to show that data. Okay, but we can go even further. Let's ask it. Now, turn this into a multi-slide presentation in Artifacts. Okay, it seems Claude went a bit wrong way. Let's correct it. No, this looks like a good report, but I want a presentation with data visualizations. Basically like a multi-page website that I can present as a presentation with slides. Use code to create it in artifacts. Claude starts coding again. Let's wait. Okay, this looks more like a presentation. Really cool charts. Really nice. And best of all, you can publish this as a website and send the link to your colleagues. Well, to be fair, ChatGPT also offers handy ways to analyze data. Let's upload the same file and ask it. Visualize data from this file using various charts. As you can see, ChatGPT has also prepared pretty nice charts with our data. The cool thing about ChatGPT's visualization is that you can easily customize how it looks. For example, you can change all the colors and interact with the charts. You can download these charts as images, which is also very convenient. In the full course, you will learn how to get the most out of modern AI capabilities, such as working with screenshots and documents. You will also explore the benefits of open source LMs like DeepSeek and understand how to use them effectively. 
Additionally, you will master prompting reasoning models for optimal results and discover how AI can automate your daily tasks, saving you hours of work. Join the full course at alexandra.com real and unlock the most practical AI techniques for real-world application.